Hey guys, so if you've seen this video, hello again everybody. As you can see from the title, I am doing a review on the Emma Fate Square 1 version 2, which is the ball core. Yeah, so after that, I contacted Cube Depot and they said they sent me a new Square 1. And here it is. This is the other one, and as you can see, it's the color scheme is a little different. Like, the colors rotated clockwise a little bit. So green is here now, orange is here, blue is here, and red is here. Which is kind of weird, because you see this is where the square one logo was. Yeah, the square one logo rubs off really easily. You can just take your fingernail, scratch it off. So yeah, let's get started. Box, 3 with 3 with 3 puzzle cube, brain, tempest, challenge your patience. That's weird, 3 by 3 by 3 cube. <laughs> oh, looks square one. And yeah, let's open the box. Listen, I have not felt this square one. My friend received this in her mail, and she opened it up. Comes in a nice stand. And I get two of them. Yay. Okay. Put that to the side. And bam. Hmm. This sticker's the one. Great. Caps still have the same problems. Let's see. It looks like the stickers don't have the same dirty problem. When I opened that one, the stickers had like black stuff on it. The shades are really, really nice. So, first turn. Tighter than the last one. Really stiff. Especially the snow layer. As for this. Great! Oh boy, I'm gonna have so much fun gluing these caps again. Really, really stiff middle um, slices slash layer one, what to call it. So yeah. So if you plan to buy this cube, don't expect the right the right color scheme. I don't know what the right color scheme is. If anybody knows what the right color scheme is, please tell me. This is this color scheme. This is this color scheme, which is basically this. No wait. Oops, this. So, wow. So not, so basically yellow and white got flipped and blue and green are switched and needs to be rotated clockwise this way. So, wow. So yeah, I'm going to definitely be guessing this. This one does not feel lubed. This one came lubed. Let's see if this is lubed. Yeah, it's lubed. See that? Focus, 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 focus. Is it focused? I think it's focused. I don't know if you can see that, but it's lubed. Oops. Yeah. So, yeah. I am going to tension this, get back to you on the rest of the review. Okay, so loosen this about a turn or so. And just a tip, when you first get this and you tension it, this screw is going to be impossible, impossible to adjust. This cube is going to be impossible to adjust because the screw is on the other side. Let's see if I can show you this. That thing is the screw is going to be like it's going to feel like a rivet that you can't you can't turn it. So what I suggest to do is unscrew the screw, like take it out and then screw it back in. And then when you adjust it later, it's going to be much easier to adjust. So the turning of it is right, the box is kind of stiff, but it's really it's great. Why do you keep falling off? Okay. Like it's not slow, it's kind of fast, but it's kind of rough. Corner cutting, 
and my tensions is about I'm gonna try to measure this so about there a little less but there and the other way about half and this won't reverse cut so this is what I find kind of cool like it won't reverse cut so you put it just like this and try to reverse cut it'll go on the other one I think that's kind of cool so yeah let me take this apart and show you the pieces so easy way to take this apart see that hole that gap that gap is basically the um, the dividing line of the two halves of the square one so get an edge right in between there push up stick your finger down there and just pop it up and then just do that with all the edges first you will not you will not be able to take the corners out if you take without taking out all the edges first and then just whatever take the corners out this is my report show you how it works so yeah it looks like this ball core all the pieces turn around in there so this is an edge see so yeah, has this little bump in the middle like a track or something and it clicks a little bit when it goes under this um, line, I don't know what to call it so it clicks a little bit and this is a corner looks basically like a blown up edge same track you can see there there and then yeah size comparison with a standard th standard three by three see it's a little bit smaller right there and since it's a little bit smaller, as compared to the Diane since we all know that's a little bit smaller than a 3x3. So, Diane you can tell by the bigger hole in there. It's about the same size, but. One second. Sorry, Dad. So, yeah, as you can see. The lean is a little bit bigger. Great, just stop sliding. Than the M Fate Square one. If it will focus, there we go. See that? So it's even smaller than the lean, which I don't know if it's considered small for a square one. But yeah. Now these stickers kind of remind me of the stickers that come on the, oh look, I'm afraid you see that right there, kind, uh, kind of remind me of the stickers that come on the Alphas and the Dianes, Dianes, whatever. like, um, they feel kind of thin, which means that they are prone to chipping because your nails can't catch them as easily as q stickers, and, um, since it's on a white cube, you can't tell there's no fading of the yellow or any other color, so it's really nice. If you don't mind a white cube, I suggest you get a white version of this because the stickers look a lot better, especially this blue. Just look at that blue, it's like a beautiful sky blue. The green, you know what? These, I think, are the exact same kind of stickers that come on the speed cube, the DIY speed cubes these days. Really nice, last a long time, so I, su I expect these to last me a long time. So yeah, um, since I have two, and they are both kind of different, you can tell that if you buy one of these, you can get, you know, anything. <laughs> From, like, correct color scheme like this, and works very well in the box, to works really bad out of the box and weird posting. So yeah, I adjusted it. I haven't lubricated it yet because I, sorry for not the camera, I want to break it in without lube first and see what that does. So yeah. 
Hmm. Oh. If you don't mind, I like to listen to music when I solve, so yeah. I know I suck. Uh. Final thoughts. This cube is very nice. If you already have a square one, or if, if you're looking for a new speed square one, I highly recommend you check this out. Ten dollars on Cube Depot, and I think just about everywhere else, ten dollars. So yeah, R really nice. Once you break this in, lubricate it. It's really nice. I like this one and that so yeah go check this out cube depot speed cube shop iq mart they all have them they all have this okay then <laughs> wow they all have this in stock and yeah i highly recommend this and thank you for watching